So today I'm making a doggy door on the inside of my other doggy door to give a little bit of width to it to stop the wind from blowing the other one in and put two layers, two flaps. So I basically built the frame, these pocket hole screws for everything, even the sides. I don't know what's up under there. Yeah, here's the pocket hole screws. Built the frame out, put a piece measure across the top. I'm getting ready to put a piano hinge right here. And I'm going to put this, I use this material, I just got a big box store. It's kind of thin, so I'm gluing two pieces together right now over here underneath the weights to make a flap out of here. I tried, I bought different material, you know, that's a mat you stand on, it's not really transparent. This stuff is for carpet, it's really got pegs on one side, and it's really too thin. This is pretty thin too, but again, you couldn't find a door flapper valve, but this stuff's cheaper anyway. So then I ran some bolts through the door, I'll show you that later, go all the way through the metal door and to lock in the doggy door. And I put a hole right here on the top, just one through the all the way through the door. This is a six inch bolt. And there's another one hole on the top. And drilled right through the door. The door is metal, but it was easy enough to get through because it's real thin. It's probably actually aluminum on the outside. And this is brass, I believe, to cut. So I measured my um, flapper door that's already in place and it's about 15 inches across, about 20 in inches down. And at the hardware store, I bought this little piano hinge, wasn't very expensive, to attach to the flapper valve. They told me, oh, you can use a hacksaw to cut it. I'm like, uh, no, I got an angle grinder. It's going to go a lot quicker. But you could use a hacksaw. All right, so for the flapper, I glued those two pieces together. I probably should have got some plastic glue. I tried CA. I don't know if it's really going to dry or stick. Uh, I just put dots around there. I'm getting ready to cut the holes for the piano hinge to put on the top. You gotta leave it straight down like this so it can go in and out. I should have bought some uh, other screws, a little bigger heads, but they actually don't. I got these, and even maybe a little shorter, but they're, the screws are gonna work that I got. Their head just barely catches. I'm gonna run that through and then put some nuts on the back end. Maybe a wash or two. All right, so for the flapper, I glued those two pieces together. I probably should have got some plastic glue. I tried CA. I don't know if it's really going to dry or stick. Uh, I just put dots around there. I'm getting ready to cut the holes for the piano hinge to put on the top. you got to leave it straight down like this so it can go in and out. I should have bought some uh, other screws, a little bigger heads, but they actually don't. i got these, and even maybe a little shorter, but they're... The screws are going to work that I got. Their head just barely catches. I'm going to run that through and then put some nuts on the back end. Maybe a wash or two. Okay, so I'm uh, putting a piano hinge on this double piece of carpet plastic. And um, these screws are, let's see, they're 638 by 3 8 and they've still got a little bit extra. You can see that. It would have been nice to get even shorter ones than that. I guess I could cut them off. Yeah, that's a thought. Should probably put a lock washer on there, but I think it'll hold up. So I'm just tightening them up, tighten them up right now. And uh, I might actually shave off the uh, ends with a Dremel tool, cut off okay. tool. Okay, so now I've went ahead and attached my piano hinge, my two pieces of plastic. It's an underlayment under carpet or something. I don't know, I got it in the carpet department. And the screws, I kind of just put the piano hinge all the way flat down here. and Got to be real careful about getting the center. I actually tried it on. I put the bolts through the door and lined this up by putting some guidelines on the sides here from where the other door is so the two can go together. I did put a bar on the bottom here too. It's just aluminum bar. Again, aluminum is a lot easier to drill through than steel. And uh, it gave it a little weight to it. If I needed to, I could actually glue some earth magnets on there or something and put magnets on the other side, but I don't think I'm going to need to. I think it's heavy enough. Okay, so this is where I'm at now. I notched out some 2x4s uh, on the table saw, enough to put this tract I got. I got this piece of tract at the big box store. And I'm setting it in, in here. Just drilled some holes through it. It's aluminum again, so it drills a lot easier. I always get aluminum, not steel, for this kind of stuff. So I'm going to notch that. That's for the, doggy, that's for the uh, dog door that kind of keeps the dog from coming in if you want to lock her out or whatever. 
And on the bottom I put two notches. I had to leave a little around where the bolt is coming through the door all the way to the top and bottom. I had to leave a little space here for these two blocks, but also notch them out for a track that's going to sit in here to catch the uh, inside doggy door to the safety door there, the door that I'll show you what I'm talking about. What door? This door right here. This one that came, you know, I've got another original door that's going to slide down in there. So I just got some of this track drilled holes in it just now and got some screws I'm about to okay, put in. Okay, so I've got the track all in and it's all complete, about ready to be put on the door. This uh, track here is just for dropping it down in the doggy door there. And that's what it looks like from the outside. Just wood screws on the inside. Wasn't too worried about water from the back side. I'll come around and show you. Uh, so this is the door here. It's kind of yeah, a little tight fit. That's all right. If I have to, I'll shave some wood off if I need to, but it seems like it works all right. This is kind of the inside after I ended up framing it all. So I'm just bolting one to the top and one to the bottom. That should hold it. I don't think it can rotate or anything since it's be, if I needed to, I would have put two more on the sides. Don't think I need to. I think it'd be excess. We'll see.